Hi there folks, now I've had a special request to do a tutorial for the song Listen to the Rhythm of the Falling Rain. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain Telling me just what a fool I've been I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain or Let me be alone again It was recorded in 1962 by the Cascades and it was also featured on the soundtrack album to the film Quadrophenia in the late 70s. So first of all I'm going to show you how to play the chords we're going to be using in the song. Now bear in mind the original song was recorded in the key of E major. I've transposed this version up to the key of F just by a semitone just because the chords in the key of F are a lot easier than the chords that we'd be using in the key of E major. Okay, so that being the case, let's have a look at our first chord. So we're going to be using the F major chord. Just need to use your first two fingers. First finger on the first fret second string. That's the string that's second closer to the ground. Second finger on the second fret fourth string. So that's a nice, easy F major chord. Next up, we've got a D minor. Now to get from an F to a D minor, all you've got to do is leave your first two fingers where they are and then your third finger joins them on the second fret, third string. So that's a D minor chord. Next up, we've got a nice simple C major chord. So you're gonna be using your third finger on the third fret, first string. That's the string closer to the ground. Next up is the chord that nobody likes to use and that is the B flat. And that is because it's a bar chord and you've got to press down really hard, but never fear. You will get there with practice, I promise you. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your first finger on the first fret, first and second strings. And what I do is use my thumb to gently squeeze the back of the neck there, just so you get a really nice tight grip on the first and second strings. So they should sound something like that. Now if they sound like this, don't worry, that's absolutely normal. It'll just take time for your fingers to harden up just so you can get a really nice clear sound. So it could take you a few days, it might take you a few weeks, but you will get there. So your second finger then goes on the second fret third string and your third finger on the third fret fourth string and that is the B flat chord. Okay then, so next up we've got another easy chord, that's the A minor. So you're gonna be using your middle finger, second finger, and your second finger goes on the second fret fourth string. That's the string closer to your face. Okay, next up we've got a G minor. So you're going to be using three fingers. First finger, first fret, first string. Second finger, second fret, third string. And third finger, third fret, second string. So that's G minor. And last but not least, we've got a cheeky F7 chord. So it's basically like an F chord, you're just adding an extra finger. So your first finger goes on the first fret, second string, second finger, second fret, fourth string, and third finger, third fret, third string, and that is F7. Good, okay, so let's now have a look at how we're actually gonna play the song. Now, to all you beginners out there, what I'd recommend is just doing simple downstrokes, just keeping a steady beat throughout the song. So I'll show you how that goes. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain Telling me just what a fool I've been I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain And let me be alone again So if you notice that, I was just doing steady downstrokes. What I do is use the tip of my finger on my fingernail and I'm just striking across the strings just here where the neck meets the body. You tend to get more of a strident sound playing across here than you do lower down. So like that. The next rhythm I'm going to show you is the calypso rhythm because the calypso rhythm really does suit this song. So this is the calypso rhythm. How do we do that? Well, I'll show you. What we're doing is, by the way, we're starting off with an F major chord for this uh, demonstration. 
So what I'm doing is striking across the strings, just gently, you don't have to really thrash them, just gently across like that. Then next up, you're gonna gently stroke across the strings. So you're kind of pushing downwards. So you get this kind of bring kind of sound. gentle stroke across the strings. So you're doing one stroke down like that and then a stroke across then up, up, down and up. So I'll do that and put all that together. So here's your first stroke across, nice clear stroke and then a stroke gently and then up, up, down. Okay I'll do that again. Calypso rhythm. Now another technique you can use is a finger picking technique. Now bear in mind the kind of um, the references in the song to rain and thunder are certainly rain and in, at the beginning of the song you will hear thunder and rain sound effects and at the end of the song you'll hear the same as well. So what really sound nice if you want it to you could uh, do a finger picking style which kind of emulates that sound of the rain, that pitter patter. Just watch this. Listen to the rhythm of the falling rain, telling me just what a fool I've been. I wish that it would go and let me cry in vain, and let me be alone again. Pitter patter, pitter so you've got that kind of rain, droplets of rain coming down. So I'll show you how to play this. Now what I'm doing is I'm using my thumb, my first, second and third fingers. My thumb, I start off, by the way, and for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm on the F chord again. The thumb is on the fourth, thing, fourth string, sorry. So I'm plucking the fourth string, string closer to my face than my thumb. Then the next string, the third string, I'm using my first finger. Then the next string, second string, I'm using with my second finger. Then the first string, I'm using with my third finger. And I'm just repeating that pattern. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. In fact, it's a nice song to actually practice this technique to. And when you're starting, always start off slow. So, one, two, three. Listen to the rhythm of the, then you go to your B flat, falling rain, back to F, telling me just what a fool I've seen, been. And then back to the F, I wish that it would go away, and, and then B flat, crying in vain, and then back to the F, and let me be a, let's see, alone again, back to the F. So that's one way of playing uh, the song, but what we're going to do for the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using the Calypso rhythm. So let's start off with the introduction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from the F to the D minor, back to the F and then to the C. So here we go. One, two, three, four, F, D minor, back to F to C. Okay, so that's the intro. Now we're going to go into the first verse. Okay, so we're going to start off with the F. Listen to the rhythm of the B flat, falling rain, back to the F, telling me just what a fool laugh, and then to C, I, and then back to the F, wish that it would go to B flat, cry in vain, and then to the F, and let me be a, then C, loner, then F, again, then C, 
Good. Okay, I'll do that again now. So this time I'm going to play all the way through. Listen to the rhythm of the falling second verse which is the same structure as the first verse so starting with the F the only girl I care about is B flat gone away back to F looking for a brand new and then to C start back to the F but little does she know that when she and then B flat left that day then back to the F along with the C C took my then F heart two on F7. So now we're into the bridge section. So we're going to go to the B flat now. So here we go. Rain, please tell me now, does then to A minor that seem fair? And then back to B flat for her to steal my heart away when then to F. She don't care. Then D minor, I can't love another when my G minor heart is some. Then to C, where then to F, way, then back to the C. Okay, so I'm going to do you this middle section again without shouting the chords out now. Ray, please tell me now, does that seem fair? For her to steal my heart. start with the F. The only girl I care about is then to B flat has gone away and then to the F. Looking for a brand new and then C start F. But little does she know that when she and then B flat went away and then back to the F along with the she and then C took my back to F. Heart F7 now we're into the middle bit again. Rain, won't you tell her? And then to A minor, I love her so. And then to B flat, please ask the sun to set her. And then to F, harder glow. So now we're on to D minor. Rain in a heart and let the G minor love we. Then C, know how to. Back to the F, grow, then to C, and then we're going to go back to the first verse. Listen to the rhythm of the B flat falling rain, then to the F, telling me just what a fool life, then C, B, then to the F. I wish that it would go and let me, then to B flat, cry in vain, then to the F. And let me be a C loner, back to the F again. Listen to the rhythm of the D minor falling rain, and then back to the F. Better, 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 and then D minor, better, oh, and then F. Listen to the rhythm of the D minor falling rain, and back to the F. D minor, better, and then finish on the F. So that was Listen to the Rhythm of the Falling Rain. And like I said before, if you try and play along with the original, you might have uh, one or two issues because I've transposed the pitch up to F major. But if you want something to play along to, then check out my play along video whereby I'm going to play the song in its entirety with the chords up next to me. So if you want to play along to this version of Listen to the Rhythm of the Falling Rain, you can do. Thanks very much for joining me and don't forget to check out some more Get Streaming videos very soon. <laughs>